Hi. So today we are going to study the operation and function and this is specific to multiplication. In my other video on operation on functions, the basics, I mentioned the general idea on how to multiply and divide functions but I didn't show exactly the specific steps on how to obtain the product or the quotient. So in this video alone, we will be focusing on one of the four operations and that is on multiplication. Okay, so let me introduce another set of functions. So suppose we have two functions f of x is equal to 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 7 and another g of x which is equal to 2x squared or 2x cubed let's use 2x cubed plus say 3x squared minus 4x plus 5 so as you can see if we will be multiplying the two expressions this will be f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x and that would mean 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 7 to be multiplied with 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x and a plus 5. As you can see, I always make use um, of parentheses in order to place the group uh, for each function okay again the idea is well one of the ways that we can do this is to distribute every term to the other group which is 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 5 and obtain the product of each uh, pair and then we move to the second and then repeat the process now the problem with this is that if you miss a pair then that means your answer will be incorrect already and sometimes even checking will take you uh, it will be difficult for you to check wh which step uh, you committed that mistake okay so to minimize the error I will introduce the approach which is the tabular approach or the matrix we can call it the matrix or the table approach some textbooks might use a different name for it but we call it table because we will be tabulating the product of the terms okay so in the table approach so what you can do is to create something like this then place the terms of the two functions you can place the f of x on top so when it's positive, just write the number. So you have 3x cubed. When it's a negative or minus sign, you carry that sign. 4x squared. 2x is positive. So just write 2x. Minus 7 means negative 7. So write negative 7. And then vertically, you copy the, every term of the second expression. And that is 2x cubed a 3x squared, a negative 4x, and then a 5. So the idea of the table approach is the distribution that we have here, but we have organized it so that we could easily find the product of the pairs okay, of expressions. So let's work on this. So the first thing that you have to do is to multiply this first term and the first term and write the answer here so 2x cubed times 3x cubed so make sure you know how to multiply basic expressions so that's a 2 and a 3 so that's a 6x cubed and an x cubed take note we don't multiply the exponents but we add the exponents so we have on the first is 6 x to the 6 then you move to the second 2x cubed and negative 4x squared and that would be a negative 8 that's a 2 and a negative 4 then x to the fifth 
and then just move again to the next term 2x cubed times 2x will be 4x to the 4 and then 2x cubed times negative 7 is negative 14x cubed and then you move down to the next term and then repeat the process 3x squared and a 3x cubed would mean 9x to the 5th and then you just continue so that's for the second row and then repeat the process for negative 4x you will have and then finally for 5 and there you go to get the final answer you will be adding the like, like terms diagonally so first we only have 6x to the 6 so we write that as the first term 6x to the 6 and then the next one is the sum of these two that's a 9 and an 8 take note they have the same exponents 5 so 9 and minus 8 is 1 so that's positive x to the 5th the next diagonal so that is a negative 12x to the 4 and negative 12x to the 4 that's negative 24x to the 4 and a positive 4x to the 4 is minus 20x to the 4th and then you go to the cube see so you're just you're like playing and adding the terms is here 15 and 16 that is 31 plus 6 is 37 37 minus 14 is 23 so you have 23 for the x cube then you move again to the x squared so that is a negative 20 negative 8 negative 28 negative 21 so you can have a guide negative 21 negative 28 and that is negative 49 so that means we write negative 49 x squared and then for the x you have a 10 x and a 28 x that is simply 38 x and then finally the constant value negative 35 or minus 35 so that's how you add so compared to working like this um, it's it's faster well at least for me and it's very organized okay and then you could easily get the sum afterwards so just be careful when you add integers so if it's a negative and a negative it should be negative a negative and a positive just take note which one is bigger you know the, the, those ideas you have to be careful when applying the signs in operations okay so this will be our answer for the product okay so this is for multiplication and i hope you know now how to multiply expressions okay for practice, I'll be giving you one problem and try it on your own. We have, suppose we have, so this is for practice. I'll give you a shorter one. So let's say f of x is equal to 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x minus 2. Let's just use a shorter g of x so that you could just practice the, the approach so let's say you have um, x let's say just 2x plus 3 okay so practice in this apply the tabular approach list down every term of the first and then every term of the second g of x and then just provide the products of the pairs and finally combine it into a single answer okay so that's it